So I work for a tech company and they grant me options. And every day over lunch, we look at the stock price and you know, debate whether we should exercise our options. So what are we doing? We're actually deciding when to exercise. So these are American style options. And the critical thing is that the American part means that we have to choose when to exercise. And so if we if we wait too long, the stock might go down. So presumably the, the, the stock is doing well above our exercise price and we might exercise and lock in our profits or we can let it ride and you know hope the stock goes up even more tomorrow. And so every day there's a choice. So how are we gonna figure out when we should exercise our options? So the first simplification is we're gonna say that they're perpetual. And that means we don't have to worry about time. So no T to worry about. So this simplifies the equations and this doesn't mean that time isn't happening. It just means that every day is just like the last day except the stock price could be different. And by looking at the current stock price, that's the only thing we're gonna to use to make up our mind about whether to exercise or not. We never have to worry about you know, how much time until the option is, is done. We just assume it, it never is done. All right, so let's start doing some math. So we have black shoals with dividend and no time. So what's that gonna be? It's gonna be half sigma squared S squared, second derivative V with S plus R minus D S DV DS minus RV equals zero. So this is just black shoals with dividends. So here's here's the dividend. And we have regular derivatives because we have uh, V is just a function of S. There's no time. And some of the other equations of black shoals we had some other uh, partial of v with respect to t or v with respect to s times dt and all that's gone away now all right what's the solution so i'm not going to work out the solution but there is one so the solution is that v of s equals a s to the alpha plus plus b s to the alpha minus and a and b are some constants and then the alpha plus or minus is one over sigma squared negative r minus d minus half sigma squared plus or minus square root of r minus d minus a half sigma squared plus two r sigma squared. Okay, so here's the solution. So if you believe this, then you can just keep going. If you don't believe this, you can plug this into uh, the equation up here. So take first, expand, you know, put the alphas in here, take the first and second derivative, and then plug everything in, and hopefully everything simplifies to zero. If not, you find your errors and correct them. If you, if you want to have a little bit easier time, you can use a computer algebra system like Mathematica or Sage. So Sage, if you haven't heard about it, is a, it's a Python-based open source uh, computer algebra system. Highly recommended. So give that a try. So once you've convinced yourself this is a solution, now what? Well, we can get rid of one of these. So we know that a call option as s goes to zero so as my stock starts going bankrupt what happens to my options my options become worthless and that means that b has to be zero so why is that so alpha so alpha plus is positive 
and alpha minus is negative. And so as s goes to zero, s will become very small to a negative power. That's like dividing by a large power of s. As s go gets really small, that's multiplying by larger and larger numbers. And so unless b is zero, this will go to infinity. So b has to be zero to make this to make v go to zero as s gets small. So b has to be zero. So now we have v of s equals a s alpha plus. And what happens at expiration time? So when we exercise the option, we get some payoff. And our strategy is going to be to wait for some preset price, s star, and then exercise when we hit that. What other strategy could you have? That's, that's basically the only strategy. And just the question is, what is s star? How, how, how high do I wait for the stock to go before I exercise? And so the payoff at s star, what's the payoff? It'll be the price minus the strike price. That'll be my, my payoff. And then from this equation up here, we also have v of s star is a s star to the alpha plus. And so these are equal. So we know these have to be the same. So we can say that a s star to the alpha plus equals s star minus e. <coughs> but we have one equation and we have two unknowns. We don't we don't know a and we don't know s star <clears throat> so we need more so what else can we say the next step is to maximize v by choosing s star so of course i'm, I'm deciding when to exercise my options i want to maximize my value that i get out of my option and that's how I'm going to choose my S star to maximize my value. So what does that mean? I want to take dv ds and set it equal to zero. Then solve for S star. And we are we oh, from up here we can have a function of, of a So a is s star minus e over s star to the alpha plus. So we can write a in terms of s star. And here we have a big equation. We have one variable, s star, setting the derivative equal to 0. We can maximize v. And without working through all the details, because I'm lazy, what's the solution? So the solution is s star equals e over 1 minus 1 over alpha plus. So here is the optimal exercise price. So this is what I wait for until I exercise. But then an interesting observation is that as d goes to 0, so the dividends, so I, I'm working at a tech company. I look up on Google Finance. I look up dividends, and I don't see a number. I see little dashes. The company does not pay dividends. And so dividends are actually 0 for a lot of tech companies. And so what does that mean? D goes to 0. Alpha plus. Let's look back at alpha plus. You can look over here. You know, work through when D goes to 0. D is 0 here. You know, you simplify some stuff. You see that actually alpha plus goes to 1. And so as alpha plus goes to 1, S star, this is going to be 1 minus 1. So this is going to be smaller and smaller. And that's going to get bigger and bigger. So S star goes to infinity. So as the dividends get smaller, our optimal exercise price gets larger and larger and goes to infinity. And in fact, at d equals 0, the solution is to never exercise.
exclamation mark. So that means that for my tech stock, I should never exercise my options. And in fact, what should I do instead? I you know, Actually, instead of exercising my options when they're worth money and I'm scared that they're going to go down, I should sell the option rather than exercise it. So someone someone else might have a bet. And so there's, there's still value in the option. And I can sell the option rather than exercising to get the value out of it. So this is pretty interesting stuff. So there's quite a bit of math here, which I haven't actually worked out. I've just sort of you know, written out the solution. And so the process was writing Black Shoals with dividend, then solving it, because we can do that with the, the, the assumption that things are perpetual. Then we did a continuity argument for at the time of exercise, the value of the option is related to the payoff, and it's also continuous with our solution. So there's a continuity argument here. Then maximizing our option value was setting the derivative equal to zero and solving for the, the optimal exercise price. And so this is a, an argument that the derivative of the option price is continuous uh, everywhere. And by solving the optimal exercise price, we actually came to the conclusion that for tech stocks that don't pay a dividend, you shouldn't exercise the options ever. And in fact, this conclusion carries over when there's an end to the option, when it's, when it's uh, not a perpetual option. That's pretty interesting.